Hi everybody, it's me again. Um, I have to, I have something to celebrate, and the thing I have to celebrate is that uh, two days ago, I actually hit one million views of my vlogs. Uh, I just can't believe it. A million, a million people looked at my vlogs. Maybe it's just for a second. <laughs> At least I don't know how to work it out. Maybe it was for a second. Maybe it was for 10 minutes. But it was nice to know that a million people wanted to look at an old lady. <laughs> at least even for a minute. So, um, anyway. Thank you, thank you very, very much. Everybody who has, at some time or another, clicked on that vlog to see what I do. To see what I say. And at least maybe enjoyed it for about five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it does give me the incentive to carry on because sometimes you think, oh, do I want to do it again? Are people really interested? You know, you don't see the, the viewing figures go up very often and you tend to think, oh, is it worth it? But it obviously is. So I shall keep on going as long as I can. Anyway, enough of that. I want to, I want to uh, quickly go into this because... A couple of you in one of the previous vlogs said what's a, what's a PDF. Now most of us will know what a PDF is, the majority of us. I didn't. I didn't until I, when I came back into sewing about, um, what, about 10 years ago I think it was, 10, 15 years, I can't remember. I came back into sewing and people were talking about PDFs and I'm thinking what on earth is a PDF? And so I didn't know what you did with it. Before I show you what a PDF is, the most important thing about PDFs is you've got to like jigsaws. If you like jigsaws, then you like PDFs. They're not as hard as jigsaws and they're quite straightforward. You've got to want to put your pattern together. And you've also got to want, you've got to have a printer, you've got to use your computer, so you've got to have a little bit of knowledge on your computer and to be able to com go from your computer to your printer. If you have that knowledge, then you are going to be saving yourself an awful lot of money going for a PDF. There are a lot of free PDFs out there, and if you get the chance to get one, I've just downloaded a free hat one, um, you know, go for it. And also, the, there are the likes of people like me or like yourselves who like making a pattern. Say, supposing I made, supposing I made this because this was made from a trace of um, a supermarket top, which I don't know if you've noticed. I had a round neck before. I've now made it into a V with the black. Um, trim around there but supposing I decided I wanted to convert that into a PDF here comes trouble again she's come to say hello she, it's because she hears my voice see I'm not normally talking and she can hear my voice so now I've got to pick her up and say hello to her so just give me a minute come to say hello to everybody no you are well say hello everybody say hello no you're not going to say hello I feel like Sooty, those of you who know Sooty or what was it? What was the girl, the little girl called? The pussy cat was, was there a cat in it? I can't remember. Um, I know, yes, you just want cuddles, but anyway, we're, we're busy talking. Can I tell the people out there what I was, can I continue? Eh? Um, if I wanted to make a pattern and I, from say from this top, and I wanted to make a copy for you lot, for all you out there, to make it available to you. I could make it into a PDF, which I would put onto my computer and break it up into so many pages so that I could then offer it to you either for nothing or at a very cheap price. And then you could download it, you could get it, you could download it and you could uh, print it off yourself and make your own top. Which I might try that actually. Anyway, um... <sighs> I have cat hairs on my face now. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, um, what was I going to say? I'm, I've lost my track of everything now. Yes, um, so pat, PDFs are very handy for uploading and they're cheap. You'll often find a free pattern. Often people make free PDFs. I've just downloaded a free hat pattern, which probably in a coming vlog I'll tell you all about. I haven't made it up yet, but we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to put this cat down in a second and I'm going to get back to talking to you. You don't want to go, don't you not? 
you just want to cuddle but you're covering my face and hairs what you do with the pdf other people who do like sew over it and uh, cashmeret and all the others they they do proper patterns but some people do uh, want to do the pdfs they want to have a pdf pdfs are cheaper uh, the thing I like about PDFs is I can go on my computer and look for something and think, oh, I quite fancy making that. I can download it that evening. I can print it off that evening. I can start cutting the fabric that evening. So, whereas if I suddenly saw something and I thought, oh, I like that pattern, I've got to either order it, wait a few days before it comes to me, then I've got to start cutting it all out or tracing it. And uh, by the time you actually get it get it together, it's about a day or two, maybe it's even three days. So that's what I like about PDFs. So let me quickly take you into how you get a PDF. And I'm going to show you two examples. One is a, is a, a Lakala pattern, which was a free pattern. It was a lady who has downloaded a PDF for a shirt and she doesn't know how to assemble it. So I said I would do a vlog on it. The other is a one recommended by Hazel White. I, Hazel White and I were having a, an email between ourselves and she recommended this pattern and it's a Love Notions pattern and I love Love Notions. And so she recommended it. I went to have a look at it. I liked it so much that I decided to download it and I'll show you what they like. Hazel also showed me a little photograph of her blouse that she made from that pattern and so I've just put that in as well for you to watch. Anyway, enough talking, let me get on. <music> So the first pattern we're looking at is from Lakala. It is a man's shirt and it's pattern number 6056, which is a free pattern. Rather nice. They've done a nice colour for it. It made it look nice. It's an orange colour, very summery. And it's got raglan sleeves with a pocket. At the top are the instructions in English. If you click it, you will be able to download the information and print it off. And the instructions are very brief, but there are two pages and you can look at those later. Going back to the main page, you can either download ready-made measurements or you can download your customised measurements. Uh, in this case, the UK 46 would apply to my husband. I can use that or I can go upstairs and measure him up. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So if you look here, it says apply customized saved sizes. I would click on there and then I will add his Lordship's measurements. And so I don't mix him up from me. I'll call him his Lordship. He's a man and I'm going to do it in inches. And then here I enter all the details that it requests. Like for bust, it means chest. For waist, it's the same. It asks for a full hip because it's actually a ladies pattern making company. Uh, so I had to put 44 in, although his hips are not 44. But they, it, that was the only way I could get it to work. And so I save it. And you can see here it's got my measurements and it's got his lordship. So I don't get confused with whose is whose. So then I type in in the top right the 6056 pattern that I want. Search for it. It comes up again. Then when I click on it, I go to the part that says apply customised save sizes and there's his lordships. So I click on that and it fills in all the details around here. I want it to be on an A4 paper because that's the way we British people do. If you look on the top right, you can choose whether you want to pay an extra 50 cents for to have seam allowances on. Well worth it. That gives you a rough guide on how much fabric you need and I am now adding it to the cart. The cart is there. I'm going to check out. I don't have anything to pay and it'll take me to check out. Your order has been processed successfully. You'll re receive an email within the next three to ten minutes with your order. So in ten minutes I will check my emails and I'll be able to download the pattern. So now let's look at the Love Notions Lyric Dress and Peplum. I like this pattern, although it is $12, which is, in my opinion, a lot of money. The pattern style is lovely, though. 
There are so many variations you can do with it. I'm not altogether keen on those little pockets, but I do like the other ones with the slanted pockets on the side. Those patch pockets are easier to assemble though. And then I also like this little top, which is what Hazel made. And she opted for the blouse version, and this is what she made. Isn't it lovely? Very, very flattering. Very flattering indeed. So out of curiosity, I wanted to do a dollars to pounds to let you see what the cost is in uh, English money. And it costs $12. And that translates to £8.66, which is a, quite a bit, actually. But I reckon for the same kind of pattern from one of the big four, I would pay probably about 10 to 15 pounds so i am making a bit of a saving although i will be printing it off myself but love notions do have sales regularly and so if you subscribe to them you'll get to see when the offers are on now then let's have a look at the sawyer's photographs of what they have created themselves So, how do I go about ordering it? Well, you scroll down and just below this picture it says add to cart. So you add to cart and since this is the only one I'm buying, I'm going to basket. And that shows my pattern that I bought. So then I proceed to check out. And I can either pay by PayPal or by card and often with pdfs you can download as many times as you like and you can choose which one you want to download the print at home file the copy shop file or the projector file i'm downloading the print at home file and it comes down at the bottom and then i will print it out i'll open it up and print it out now once you've opened it out you it opens up like this and the nice thing about this is it's available from sizes 0 to 32 you'll need to check your instructions which are in the list on the right hand side here uh, it's basically different pages on the right hand side but you can actually print out only the size that is your to fit your body if you scroll down here you'll see there's a chart here that shows you how what your measurements are and you can match up to see what size your body what your measurements match up to what size once you've got that then you can go to the left hand side and you can cut down the layer so for example here i'm looking at mine being an 18 so if i go to the left hand side i unclick all the other sizes going right down and I leave the 18 with the eye on it 
and I go right down, scroll down again. Right the way down until I have it all left bar those two. And those guidelines I want to leave on because those, those are going to help me assemble the pattern. Now there are 90 plus pages, so really I don't want to be printing that many. So what I tend to do is print this first page and then I might print the body measurement page. So if I'm printing this first page, I go to wanting to just print the current page and I print that one current page. I might also print out the print at home layout so I can see what exactly the pattern pieces are and where they are. So then I move to that and I press print current and I print again. And then I might want to print the sizing page, so I'm going to print that one. And possibly I could do the fabric page, but I don't think I'll do anything else there. I can always check it out on the laptop. I don't really need to print the instructions out. And so I go down to find out where the pattern starts, what page the pattern starts. And the pattern starts from page 20. So... I'm now going to print from page 20 to page 93. So I go to press the pages button and then I put 20 to 93 and print. And the printer will now print pages 20 to 93. If you bear in mind that it's only printing little lines, you do not waste a lot of ink on this. So do not worry about how much ink you waste. I press print. And away I go. If you really don't fancy printing PDF, you could look on Google for sewing pattern printing near me, cheapest sewing pattern printing, next day sewing patterns. You'd have to check and see where the best prices are. They're not, they're not always cheap. And if you've paid £8 for the pattern and then you start having to pay 4 or £5 for to get them printed, that isn't going, that's going to work out very, very expensive, which is why I prefer to print them myself. I've just caught my eye on these card pattern blocks that are being sold on eBay. And they are pattern blocks that designers have done, students have done, possibly, I don't know where they've come from. But when I was showing you about Vernier making the hooks, some of you were saying, what do you use the hooks for? You can, some people like to hang their patterns up like this and they use hooks. Now, several of you other people told me that you use, um, I think, Seaside Mom, I think it was, said that she uses shower curtain hooks, rings, and a couple of others said that they use those. But those are the kind of hooks that you use here uh, normally to hang these up with. But you can be very versatile and find your own ways of hook, hanging hooks up. Um, but I just thought, I just that just caught my eye and I thought you might be interested in seeing it. I don't know what these blocks are. That says they're selling fast. They're made of card and it would just look quite interesting. And this is the Love Notions Lyric Dress. I love Love Notions. I enjoy making Love Notions. I find the pattern, their PDFs are really good. and But it's quite thick. You can see there's a lot of paper there. So basically you download a lot of paper in the process for this one. This one doesn't have as much paper because the instructions are basically... Oh, here's trouble. The instructions are basically there, that's the technical drawing, that's the instructions, and that's it. So they are really not for beginners, hello. They're not really for beginners, hello. Have you come to cause problems? You have, I thought you had. Because the minute I want to put paper out on this table, you two seem to appear. You just suddenly seem to know. Anyway, so that's the instructions for that. So you've got to really know what you're talking about when you do that one. This one, and this is like quite a lot of other PDFs. Although the other day I did a, um, I made a Montana dress from Stylark, which was my first ever Stylark pattern. 
and I wasn't impressed by for the price that I paid I wasn't impressed by the instructions now love notions is really good I'll take you through this one you've got sizes 0 to 32 and I've just I've, I'll do I think I've done a video or if not I'll put it in after this how you can do layers and you basically just print out your own size and this is what I've done. I've printed out my own size. It's got five sleeve options and four cup options. So you can, you know, choose it for the ABCD uh, bust cup. So then you've got a layout here. And this one, if I go there with that one, this one here is basically the same. They give you a layout on another page like that. That's the man shirt that I was telling you about. But let me quickly go through this. You've got a layout so you know roughly what patterns, what, what sleeve patterns there are. There are. Uh, the way that they've got it, it looks, it looks a bit fuzzy because they've shown you all the different sizes there. And then from this page, now there's a lot of instructions but I haven't printed out the instructions. I've only printed out the pattern. The instructions I can refer to on my laptop or on my computer. If you want to print them out, you can do, but if you do, then you've got another 20 pages to print. And this pattern goes up to 93. Yeah, so basically I have printed out every single one of those bits of pattern. And it takes quite a lot of pages. If you see page 80, page 92 and 93. So I have printed out all of those right down to there. So now I might not want to make all those patterns. Um, I might choose to have, if you see there, there's a long sleeve and there's a short sleeve. So I might decide I just want to do the short sleeve. So I will only select that. Personally, I like to stick everything together, cut them out and then I've got them all done so I can be selective in what I want. I actually find this far better to cut than to cut a proper pattern from a pattern book from uh, from the big four then you start with your pages and your pages here are on the love notion so it's page 20 and if you look at this it tells me page 20 there and what it does is 20 21 22 23 24 25 and then it goes down to 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So basically that little run there is one set of numbers and that's a separate one. So I, if I go pages 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, I would then go here like that and I would match that up like that. There's no cutting absolutely no cutting you've just got a slight overlap and then you put a bit of sellotape along there right i'm going to do that later because i want to do i want to concentrate on this one a because it's less pieces and b because uh oh do you know i've forgotten your name again jane jane i believe you, i said jane jane wants to know how to set it out so let's move everything out of the way so what you need is a good clear space. I can't take the rest of the table because we've got a, a photocopying machine there and other bits of equipment that husband needs to use. So I'm using this half of the table. I don't need that, those two pages for the moment. So I'm going to put those to one side. The last page or the page that I printed off here is handy because that shows me the layout that I'm going to be doing. So my first page, which is 1-1, one, one, and there's 1-1, one, one, is that one. That is that top page. And then I'm going to join it to 2-1, to 3-1, to 4-1. And then I'm going to do 1-2-1-3-1-4. Sorry, 1-2-2-2-3-2-4-2. Two, 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 three, two, two. And then 1-3-2-3-3-3-4-3. Three, 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 three. Sounds complicated, but it's not. That is actually the front of the... Um, no, that's the back of the shirt. This is the front of the shirt. This is a sleeve. That's a sleeve and that's a collar. Now the sleeve... I can't read that here, but that's the back. That's the front. That is The sleeve's made up of two parts, obviously, with a seam down the shoulder. 
So we're going to get one one. Oh, and the other thing that you need is sellotape. A good roll of sellotape. I always have sellotape. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take one one. Let's move them to one side there. One one and one two. Sorry. I'm going to go downwards. I'm going to go one one to one two. One one and one two. I match the dots there. And then I get a big piece of sellotape that's going to cover just that bit. And then I go like that. And I stick it on. Then I'm going to go to one three, which is there. And one three goes on there. Like that. Piece of sellotape. Stick it on. One four goes here. Now that's basically the top of that, that's that bit there. Now one four is basically blank but it's got a bit of the sleeve on there which is the sleeve there. If you notice that goes along there and there's not, nothing there so I could actually start again here. So what I might do is I might get this sleeve done first. So we'll move that to one side and we need to look for two one. So two one, so then I'm going to do two one, two two, and two three which is there so let's do those ones first I'll move that to one side two one two two and two three so two one two two I'm going to do that put some sellotape on this is going to go right the way across because that is the whole pattern and then two two two, two three go like that you know you're in place because you've got the numbers on the left hand side. And a bit of sellotape. Match it so it's right up to the dots there. Now, so I've got that and I've got that. Now the next bit is to lift that up and cover that to there so that it matches the dots on here. Can you see those dots going up there? And then here you can either do one long piece of sellotape, which I don't advise, or several short pieces. So there's one. Now what I would be inclined to do would be the top and the bottom. So I'm only going to do that but that bit there, and then I can fill the bit in the middle. So that there. I'm slightly off there, but it's not a big issue. And there. So that's half a shirt. Now we're going to do... We've done one, one, two, one, let's do three, one. Three, two. And three, three. Now the thing I like about this is I use a very thin paper when I print it out. I print it out onto a very thin bank paper, which is rather like tissue paper. It's called bank paper. It's 50 grams, whereas no ordinary duplicating paper is 80 to 100. And because it's 50 and because it's light, it's a bit like tissue paper. It, it's, it folds and it, it's easier to manage. I prefer that. It's also easy to print out. And it's when you fold it up into your... If, you, if you're a folder of patterns, you fold it up into your wherever it is you're going to put it. It doesn't use up a lot of space it's not bulky so three one to three two let's get that together there got that now we're on to the last one which is four and this looks awfully long I think I might have to shorten it a bit or something but let's just can continue with this so we're on to number four mind I haven't made a man shirt for a long time so it probably is the right length but I just looks mammoth compared with what I could for myself four one four two and four three. Shirt, the shirt back, 
and what I will do is I'll cut along the dotted line you ignore because that's just part of the pattern sheet it's just showing you that that's the big square so then I will cut along that line up there along there to there it goes slightly off but you can see the pattern will go like that then down there down there back down to there and that will be the back of the shirt that now this is actually I actually put it in my husband's measurements I went upstairs and measured him so it must be right um, I'm not sure it does it doesn't say it doesn't say it? no it doesn't I thought maybe it might have had a little pleat down the back but that must be the back of his back it does look big but don't forget that that's actually going to be his back and this bit is what's going under his arm that's part of his armpit under his arm there so that's why it looks wide so I shall cut it out and then I'll get back to you now normally I would use scissors but I'm going to cut this using my cutting mat and I'm going to use the, the rotary cutter and I think that that will be much easier let me go this way hold my rotary wheel like this but it feels more comfortable for cutting so that's why I'm doing it this way that's the back and basically what's nice about it is I can fold it like that and with it being bank paper I can fold it and get it into a nice little little um, a neat shape like that and like that and that with that so far will go into goes in there that goes in there and while I'm at it I shall put those at the front I'll put two at the front like that There we go, and that one at the back, and the rest of the patterns are going to go in between, like so. Right out, so it's nice and flat. Now we're going to cut, so that's in there like that, and then we're going to cut the rest of the pattern. Now we're going to do this bit. So what we need is one four, one five, one six, and one seven. So we'll go back here and we find one four. Where are we? One four, one five, one six, one seven. One seven. That's the collar. Then we go back up to to two four. Two four. So two four is this one. Two four is like that. That's nice. Two five is like that. There we go. Like that. I'm going to do a long one down there. I'm doing this slightly different because it's different parts. It's not one big piece like the back of the shirt. Then two six is that one and that matches up nicely I'm hoping you can still see and then I'm not blocking it now just a short piece of sellotape for there and then two seven now this is slightly out so what I'm going to do because there's nothing else there I'm going to cut that there 
and I'm just going to move that into position a bit better there. It's actually slightly out there, right, and that there. Then to seven here, which is that one, and get that in position. I'm positioning, I'm lining up these lines. Now you can see there's a gap there. That's not important because I'm lining it up here. So that's that one. And then the collar there. So that's there. So that pattern, I could actually cut that piece out myself now, or I can continue. Well, I'm going to continue just to make life easier for you to see what it's all about. Then I'm going to, I've done, I've done one four down to one seven, two four down to two seven is what I've just done. Now I need to do three four down to three. One, four, two, four, three, four, four, four. Oh, well, that's the end, no, that's the end. Right, so now move this out the way and I'll get them cut out and then I'll show you all the finished pieces. I shall, I'm going to undo this packet to let you see. This is my pattern now, all being cut out. I have that on the back, that on the front. Some people prefer to hang them on hooks, which is why Vernier was showing you how to do them on hooks. If you do them on hooks, you can basically set them all up together like this. So they're all lying very close together on this top part, like that. There. And you have them all together like that. And then you put a hole through there and you hang it on a hook and that, then you hang them like that. I prefer to have mine folded up. What I've done is I've marked these, I thought I had, I, this should have been videoed but it hasn't. So I shall show you back to what I was doing before. What I've done is there are little T marks on there. And this is the back of the shirt, so I've gone and made it like the patterns, like the uh, big four type patterns where they have that. Then you've got a mark here because that's where you're going to have a little vent there. And so that's your back. I pulled that. And in case I hadn't, it didn't show, I've been using this to, I changed from the big one to the small one because I found that quite easy to use. Then you have your collar. So that's two, and then you'll need fusible interfacing there. Then you've got your pocket, and then you have your front, where you will need two of these, and the two, the, this will be open down to there, and then sewn down here, so you've got this little opening at the top. I've also matched the triangles there to the triangles on the front sleeve, and what I've looked at there is that says front sleeve, so that would go there like that. Then this sleeve joins that sleeve down the middle seam. That's basically going to be down there. And then you have that one which is the back and that will go to the back of this part here. That joins there. So you have the front and the back. You've got the front and back sleeves. You've got the front of the shirt and the collar. So all those for me all get folded together like that. I've done this three times unfortunately. And that is my Lacala pattern ready to go. So I now have to find some fabric.